My name is Charlene Haydorn and I'm the founder of Redeeming Love. Redeeming Love began about four years ago after I had a personal encounter with a young girl who was being trafficked here in the United States um, and being used by her trafficker to produce webcam pornography. And I walked away from that experience um, just really crushed and uh, knowing that I had to do something, that I couldn't just walk away from that and do nothing. So I you know, asked God what it is that he wanted me to do and about a month later he revealed to me a vision for a safe place, a home where girls could come and stay for as long as they needed to receive the care that they needed and so Redeeming Love was born. So I first met Charlene at Run For Their Lives 2016 in Glendora and she was sharing with me that they're looking for this home and I was a realtor and I am a realtor and so I handed her my card and I told her to give me a call if I could be a resource to her. So one of the um, top criteria that we had when we were um, praying about a home is that God would provide a place for us where the homeowner was not only aware of human trafficking, but um, was even passionate about it or, or cared about it. Had already, um, God was already working in their hearts about this issue, about human trafficking. So when Charlene and I first met for our lunch, I knew we were gonna be going over what she wanted in this home. And after I left that lunch, I went back to my desk and first of all, I prayed a lot because I didn't know how this was all gonna come about. And then, you know, I, I go into my, my computer and I started my search. And at that point, it just didn't seem like this was gonna happen and I didn't know how to tell her that. One of my big concerns was how are we gonna convey this to a landlord and the homeowner that's going to be taking on this risk of, of housing sex trafficking victims in their home. Finally, she actually called me um, two weeks later and was like, how's the search going? And luckily, like a day or two after that, this house popped up. I really got this sense of, of hope that this vision was really gonna come to life. And I was really excited to go and to walk into that front door with her and see if this was really the house. I remember walking into the house and I just knew like that everything about the location of where this home was would be such a tranquil, perfect place for the girls that we were gonna be serving. I called the agent up and that night she set up an appointment with the homeowner who was gonna be the landlord um, at 6.30 and we were gonna meet her there. And so we showed up at 6.30, we took a couple board members with us. I remember praying on the way, we stopped on the street and we prayed in the car. So, you know, we met with the homeowner and she was actually showing some other clients the house, so I was a little nervous, like, oh no, there's more people. <laughs> she came down and, and asked us, you know, who, you know, so, you know, can you kind of explain, like, are you gonna be living here, like, together, what, you know, and so, I just knew in that moment, like, I can't sugarcoat this. You know, I just started to share with her, you know, there's gonna be girls living here who, um, who have been trafficked, and um, this, is, this is gonna be a safe house for them. Um, she looked at Charlene and she, um, with tears in her eyes, said to Charlene, that is a passion of mine. That is, that is a heartthrob of mine, that um, this is a ministry not only that's close to my heart, but I give financially to it, and I've been praying that something come locally. I didn't know it was gonna be in my own home, but um, I wanna hear more. And she just was stunned, and we were stunned because, you know, this was unfolding before us, you know, God answering our very specific prayers. It was in cement. They were going to get the house.